Hi. We're going to continue our discussion of GIMP with a very important topic and that's called the uh, path tool. The path tool is uh, right here and um, it's otherwise known as the Bezier tool and I'll show you why in just a second. The Bezier curve tool. Uh, what we're going to do, the best way to uh, pro perhaps get into it is just uh, create one. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into new. I'm going to create a, uh, create a, a new uh, canvas with a workspace of 640 by 480. I'm going to say OK. Bring it over here. Uh, resize it slightly to give us a little bit more screen real estate. Move it over and I'm going to uh, go into edit and fill with a foreground color which is uh, a, you know, a light blue, an electric blue. So you'll notice when we select this uh, path tool, uh, we have a design, edit, and a move mode. Um, the path tool allows paths to be created by a series of points that appear to be connected by straight lines, but actually they're curves. So after you select the path tool, to define your first point, it's a mouse click. The next point is a mouse click. The next point's a mouse click. The next point's a mouse, oops. The control Z, I get two of them. A uh, mouse click, a mouse click, and to close off um, the shape, you hold the control key down and click on your final or your start point. So now what we have is we have a shape. Now we can go into the edit mode, and in the edit mode, if we choose to, we can come up here and add additional points. Okay, so we'll add two additional points. Also, what we can do with the edit mode is if we come over a point, if you'll notice, um, the, there's a series of barbells on the bottom of the curve. So if we click on that point, and if we drag over, what happens is we get a control handle. And the control handle, as we drag it away from the point, increases the amplitude of the arc. And as we move it orbit around the point, it establishes the entry point into that point. So basically the control handle is, if you'll notice, is as we move around, it's defining the entry point. As we move it out, it defines the arc. Um, if, okay, so this is to the point to the left, if you go to the point to the left, or the entry, or the line to the left. If we click on it and go to the right, we um, establish the line, uh, the entry point for the line that is intersecting from the right. So uh, again, moving away from that point defines the amplitude and uh, orbiting the point defines the entry point. If we go into the move mode, what we're basically going to do is be able to move this entire structure. <clears throat> so remember, design mode allows us to create the points. Edit modes, edit mode allows us to establish new points and also control the points through the control handles. And move allows us to move the entire structure. Now, let's say we're in edit mode and we choose to add a new point. We just come over on the line, click on that point, and if you'll notice, um, we can go back into design mode and move those points, okay, around. Or we can go into um, edit mode and we can define the, both the curve amplitude and the entry point into that mode. So we've covered the design, edit, and move points on the uh, path selection tool. Now, we have this right here. What we can do is we have two additional buttons at the bottom. We can um, create a selection from the path, which is done by here. And if you notice, we get the marching ants. So if we hit the delete key, it deletes that portion of the image. Control Z undoes it. Um, additionally, what we can do is we can come up to the select, 
do an inversion um, of the selection and we'll do a delete and it will delete the outside control Z will undo it control Z will undo our undo now what we can also do is in our select we can come up and feather that image text number of pixels so we'll do 13 and we'll say OK now if we hit a delete if you'll notice it has a soft edge and we'll do a control Z and if we come up to the um, select again go into feather and increase the um, feather selection to 30 and we hit OK and now if we do a delete there's a much more um, feathered edge so we can do a control Z and undo this also works with the other tools if we click on the um, let, let's say the um, uh, oh the rectangular select and we go into additive mode we can add to our selection same thing with the lasso we go into the or the um, uh, free select we draw a free selection and it adds to our selection works also with the fuzzy select and all the other selects the scissors everything else now once this, this has been selected um, well what you can basically do with this is you can uh, imply your or, you know your apply all of your color tools <coughs> that is um, that is, uh, you know, the uh, um, um, hue and saturation or color balance or whatever on top of a photograph. Um, you can do all kinds of things with it. Take, for example, we can come into the, um, you know, the uh, gradient tool and we can draw a gradient inside of this, uh, this selection. Well, that completes uh, this video. We will discuss... Um, the Bezier tool farther with the uh, um, PAS dialog and other things in the next video. Thank you for watching.